Hello, um, welcome to this live caricature talk through. My name is Kelly, I've been doing caricatures for 12 years, and I'm going to walk you guys through every step of drawing this couple. Um, this really, really awesome couple. Um, but I have a Patreon linked in the description, and it, I, I think I have like 39 subscribers, but I'm, I'm trying to be a real artist, so if you guys could subscribe or share, I don't know, something, help her out. Um, but yeah, so I'll start walking you through this. I'm starting with the guy. He, he's so awesome. He's got a very buggy face to me, like very big eyes, but it's mostly pupil. So I'm doing that. Um, and the light sketch you see, I did it with the peach Neo color. I'm using Neo color, Caran d'Ache Neo color, wax pastels, and Crayola marker, by the way. Um, yeah, he, he's got a very easy face for me to draw, like big eyes, small nose. Um, he's smiling a lot, great smile, he has very thick eyebrows. So the under sketch I do in light peach is just like shapes where things might go, but the, oh, aren't they so cute? But the, um, the lines I leave up to creativity and chance. The exaggeration level of this one is not that extreme, it's very cute. Um, this is the first time I've like put up a camera to record. So I, I think in this video I'm a little bit nervous and also very excited to talk to these guys because they waited for me for like an hour. Uh, I didn't realize it. I was just like walking around the fair, just <laughs> just like messing around. But um, they, they found me on TikTok or something and they were so excited about character and they were asking loads of questions and it just got me thinking about putting a tutorial up. Um, so yeah, if, if you guys are following me and watching this, thank you big time because you guys really got the ball rolling and um, made me really jazzed up about doing this drawing for you. So yeah, loving the Crayola. It, Crayola marker, please sponsor me guys. Like the thin, the thick to thin lines this marker can do is just, yeah chef's kiss or something whatever the kids say um her face was more difficult for me um for two reasons one she's she's very shy you can see and i think i'm trying to joke with her a little bit and kind of prompt him to like get her out of her shell um it's much easier when the customer is not so shy so i can see their true their true like nature or essence like I'm always like come on let me see your real self so I can draw it I mean you know go get a corn on the cob or something you know what I'm saying anyway she was a little bit hard to draw her her eyes are far apart her nose is still small but bigger than his um I'm really digging her philtrum which is the space between her nose and her mouth it's like kind of longer and like breaks the plane of her face um so that was exciting to draw but she is a little more difficult. Um, yeah. So that, that's fun. <laughs> so um, for me, the, the, I'm going to make a video on this for one of my tutorials that you can access on Patreon. But the three things that, that for me make a good, good like exaggeration is uh, size, spacing, and angle. So... And it comes naturally now, but in the beginning, I'm thinking about size, like, is the eyes big or small? Is the nose big or small? Is the forehead big or small? I go through that checklist. Uh, and spacing is, are the eyes far apart or close together? Is the filter long or short? You know, the space between the nose and the eyes. And then angle, like, is the eyes slanted upward like hers or downward like his? You know, is the nose pointing up or is it? hooking down and I just go through that checklist in my mind um, and I'm going back and forth between the two I'm breaking a lot of my own rules because um, I think I'm nervous that there's a camera and also jazzed up to talk to them and I'm you know just there's a lot going on and I'm adding little bodies too because I think bodies are really cute and here's their face <laughs> in case you need to see more of their face. Yeah, they're such a cool couple. They're really freaking cool. Shout out to all the cu couples that I drew in Sacramento. Like, the, man, Sacramento people are just so rad. 
Um, yeah, and always out of heart. <laughs> His dreads, very simple. I really like to pair big broad strokes with like tiny details. It's really pleasing to look at when you first look at the character. So that black and white is so many about five thick and thin for lines. The um, so yes, and now for the bestest, Hollywood, most favorite part, but there's two um, the color. Oh, first I want to talk about their little bodies. Line. I love adding little um, bodies. It makes things so much cuter. Really um, she kind of has a, she's people. very shy the um, whole time, so I have kind of shy in her leaning body, and like his is more expressive, and still leaning towards her, but it's got like his hand slash paw that I drew, kind of supporting her. So anyway, to color. Color, I do like how I paint, which is dark to light, because um, I feel like it omitting black. Better. Black, um, I with usually the exception do at the black, very end, like the neo color black color stick is really trash. So once touches the black, you put black on paper, it messy. gets super messy. So I start so with the darkest color besides with black. And the darkest him, color, just color besides black. Too, black I always brown. add at the end. Not always this drawing. I don't because I'm a mess. But yeah, so I start with the shadows. Um, I'm right-handed, so it's really easy to make the light come from the left upper side of the face so that's that's what I I color from my mind palace we'll talk I'll talk about that in the other video I'll make on patreon shout out to patreon um yeah so mm -hmm. dark brown first I usually do my rule of thumb for myself to do a fast caricature is uh, I pick up a color and I don't pick it up again so like in an ideal world I just colored her too with the dark brown um, but since I'm talking to them and my brain can't handle it I'm already putting uh, yellow ochre so his skin color is sienna brown as the shadow and yellow ochre as the main color and the neo colors come wrapped with paper I like to have them like half naked, you know what I mean? Like take the wrap wrapper down. So it's kind of like a pointed shape. So it's easier to lay flat. You can see it's very flat and I can press hard and kind of do a gradient outward. And then the uh, yellow ochre blends in like good with that. So yeah, you can see I'm like switching back and forth between yellow ochre and sienna brown, but I wouldn't recommend that because it just takes too long. Who knows what I'm counting? I'm <laughs> like over there counting. One, two, three, four, two, three. And they're so sweet to like intently listen to me. He's like <laughs> nodding his head. He's like, yeah, you're such a crazy artist. They're so sweet. Shout out to them. I don't know their names. They were amazing, incredible people. Um, I hope they like this drawing. I think they did. I can't remember their reaction now. I guess we'll find out what it is together later. And then I'm using the... Oh, shoot. It's the dark red that comes in the 30 pack, but I think it's mahogany or something. And then I put pink with that. So combined. Nice lip color. And if you guys are still watching and listening to this, um, please let me know in the comments what you would like me to talk about. Um, the next video because I have many of these videos um, already recorded and I'll put I think I'll put some on YouTube but most I'll put for the for my patrons future patreon nurse um, yeah we'll see how that goes I'll put it I'll, I'll do my best um, but it's all for you guys so um, let me know what you want to hear, what you're interested in learning, or what's helpful, what's not. Maybe you even want to put this on mute and listen to a cool song. <laughs> um, his t-shirt is very clean, so I used light blue as the shadow. If it's like a dirty t-shirt, you can use gray or dark brown in a light way. And that gives it kind of more of a dirty look. But he looks like he washes his clothes and takes a shower, so I did light blue. <laughs> For his t-shirt and then look at me i'm breaking my rule right now and adding black already um and i should have been coloring her but for some reason i'm using black i'm using black to shade his teeth um for his hair what am i doing don't recommend i did big broad strokes and with the black and then used um the tip I use both, so big rock strokes and then the tip to add some texture in his dreads. Um, 
I actually really, really hate the Neo color black and I finally found a replacement. I'm really excited about it. It's um, Marabou's Art Crayons. Uh, yeah, another very fancy art material. You can get it at Blick. It's like for kids, but um, it really saves your hand. It doesn't look as good, but you can get the such a dark color without like hurting your hand. Because it was this fair, my hand started hurting. Um, which is another reason why I'm making this Patreon and I'm trying to make my own paintings and sell them and be a real artist and not draw for every dollar. So, um, just even subscribing to YouTube is going to help me because I, anyway, I'm doing my research. Yeah. So it's free to subscribe. Even if you don't have a YouTube account, you just make it and hit subscribe and it helps me. Yeah. Which is cool. So yeah, I'm finally starting to color her. Such a mess. So she's has more light skin than him. So I got to keep that in mind. But yeah, still using the same two colors. I'm still going to use Sienna Brown and Golden Rod for both of them. Um, so yes, coloring her eye sockets. Uh, I, I color from my Mind Palace. And I talk about that in the color tutorial video. But it means um, coloring from not real life like I'm just thinking of how shadow usually goes like I'm kind of half looking at her because usually this lighting when you're drawing live characters is like really trash um this lighting's pretty good but usually it's trash so I kind of gotta think about it um it's interesting his forehead is kind of flat so instinctively I did a flat shading with two highlights um on either side of his forehead but her forehead is like so round, so I just did one main highlight in the middle. Now I'm going back over with Goldenrod, doing some blending. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I'm really overly going back and forth with the same colors, um, not feeling very economic with my coloring, but that's okay. And that's. I believe that's Sienna Brown because um, her lips aren't that saturated so I use that for value and then I put that red dark red slash mahogany over it also I interchangeably use yellow ochre and goldenrod I don't know what it's actually called but if you get the pack even the 15 pack has that color in there um yeah oh, they're so they're so cool oh, I was so lucky to get them that fair who knows what we're talking about but they are so cool I'm and I'm so jazzed up to show you guys this these marabou um, art crayons that I picked up because I've been using they, they have like metallic and like man the, at this time I, I drew this a couple months ago but and now my material bag is like quadrupled I have so much materials that um, my friend Natalia got me a table to put it all on sheesh and googly eyes oof don't get me started i started putting googly eyes on babies recently babies that deserve it you know what i'm saying um yeah in the in the, anyway back to this character in the video her hair looks like black but in real life it looked dark brown so i'm doing dark brown and his was pretty black so yeah yeah just going over stuff because I want to keep them in the chair forever. I think the two artists next to me, Celeste and Natalia, don't have a line. So I'm just taking my sweet time. Even though this is only 15 minutes total, it's kind of long for me. I'm, I like to keep it a little bit shorter when doing a caricature. But I really, really like these guys. So, But in typical Comex fashion... Um, very, very simple background. I like simple backgrounds. Half, half because it looks cool and half because my hand hurts. Um, but there's a time and a place. Sometimes I like to do wild backgrounds. It's nice to do wild backgrounds to experiment with color and your materials and all that stuff. Wow, more extra lines just to keep them there a little bit longer. Too funny. Here it goes. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my god, so I forgot his tattoos and now I'm using my Posca whiteout pen to add a little highlights in their eyes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.